Hey, good morning, Mark. Well, they've been actually referred to as the tattletale lights. And two years after being put up, police say that they're still helping them catch some of those red light runners. So take a quick look. We're going to zoom in on one of those blue lights so you can get a better look now that the sun's actually coming up. The light pretty bright. So here's how they work. That blue light turns on when the traffic signal is red. So what this allows for is for officers to watch from a safe location, kind of like where we are right now. And even if they don't have a clear access of that red light, they're able to see when the light's red because the blue light's on. Now, the only way, of course, this is effective if it's, is if it's there is an officer posted up nearby ready to catch that motorist who takes that red light. And Sarita officers who closely monitor these lights, they say the extra tool in their toolbox is really helpful. It's easier for me to, especially at night, to see that that intersection is red and to notice if a, a vehicle is going to run the red light, I will know that the light's red. And the lights were a recommendation that were actually made back in 2016 by the Pima Association of Governments to make a few intersections here in Sarita a lot safer. And Sarita police say that they actually don't keep track of data when it comes to these blue lights. But from when some of them have monitored here and posted up watching these blue lights, they say that they like them. They like that a lot of motorists now know that they're in the area so they don't run those red lights as often. For now, reporting live from Sarita, Veronica Acosta, Kega 9 on your side. Thank you so much, Veronica. We want to hear your concerns about Tucson roads and how to keep them safe. You can call the number on your screen or email us at saferoads at kegun9.com. Kega 9 is your station for Operation Safe Roads. A major change coming in the Tucson.